is Sound Off, Louisiana's premier television sports show. Coming to you from Barstool Sportsbook at the Parish Lake Charles. Here are the guys, Rick, Scooter, and Kevin. Glad to have you with us again. Coming to you from Barstool Sportsbook at La Verge. Mr. Yes. Kevin Guidry, Rick Sarro. Always Where's the man in the here. middle? Man in the middle, not here. Scooter's not here. That'd be Scooter Hobbs. All right. He Where's Scooter? Not, he is off this week. All right. Yes, uh, he is. I don't know. I, I think the viewers know that they are watching the premier sports talk television show in the entire state of Louisiana. There is only you, one, right? Well, do you think they know there, that? There is only one. Okay. Do you think they know they're going to get 30 minutes of brilliance and great insights on this show tonight? Do you, they do you are going to get greatness. They're going to get greatness. greatness. They're going to get greatness. I was going to say funny and entertaining. <laughs> you forced me to say brilliant. You forced me to say the word brilliant. We know what we're talking about, folks. I promise you. We know what we're talking about. All right. Thank you for that. I appreciate that. All right. Uh, another big show. Yes. Uh, we got a lot to talk about. Mason Smith, LSU, Florida uh -huh. State. We're going to preview that game. McNeese and Tarlington, going to get in, into that game. we got some Saints stuff to talk about. UL Lafayette, by the way, the Raging Cajuns. Yes. Hey, pay attention to those games. They're playing Northwestern State. Yes. And Southeastern Louisiana is playing at Mississippi State. Yes. So if you're in and around for the weekend, sitting on the couch, you got a take lot of a games. peek, Cowboy fans, because you can get an early look at the SLC teams. Got a lot of games. Demons and Lions, they're also yeah. playing FBS, so they're, they're playing up. And, of they course, are. the Saints gearing up for the season um, in another week. 53-man roster yes, and the like. Got to get right. down to it. Number three LSU against number eight. Excuse me. Number five. I think they should be That's number okay. three. I'll take three. They're number over. five against three. number eight Florida State. I mean, Big I'll, number zero. We're it. talking numbers now. Yeah. Mason Smith out because of the NCAA and all their hypocrisy, all their goofiness. Exactly it it just chaps me. It does, Rick. It just it chaps should. me. It should. It should uh, because I mean, you know what? You got these young kids. Rick, they don't know what all the rules are. They don't know how to play by the rules. You know, you're asking each one of these kids to go and hire an attorney. It's what you're basically asking them to do. For them to play within the rules of what they're expected of by the Well, NCAA. the rules have loosened up so much with NIL, obviously. There are some still rules out there. It's just, to me, right? it's just not but, right. Because they don't know exactly what to especially, do. Especially, right? you know, you cannot, you cannot wager. You these, cannot. These you coaches can't. can't. Anybody affiliated with a college That's program understood. or a pro program, you cannot wager that on games. That is understood, Rick, when they you They should about know that, that, but certain players no. talk to Iowa State that yeah. don't know, and they try to break the rules. And that's so the that's program, one thing Rick. Clear. That's the program. But Mason Smith, two years ago, signed some autographs. He did. Made some money. They caught him at it. They investigated. So the interesting thing is the NCAA did not say LSU or Mason Smith. No. You're going to be suspended for the first game of the season. They specifically, they specifically said, said Florida, Florida State. State. Wow. It stinks. I it think does. something fishy. It does. Brian Kelly and, and Scott Woodard probably maybe threatened them with something, just tried to get around it, but they couldn't You know, do you it. go back, Rick, I think we I think talked a sucks. little bit about when we it mentioned stinks. about the Boutte the inc incident. He was, dis he was suspended for New Mexico. New Mexico. I mean, come, come on now, guys. There's, a lot, on of, now. there's a lot of disparity there. Okay, let's talk the game. We know Mason Smith's going to be out. But there's a lot of talent on that defensive line. It is. Speaking, look, the Florida State and LSU, they were close last year. Yes. Both of them, I think, are better. They're right. I think they are, Rick. I mean, both of them have great offensive and defensive lines. They do. They, both both of them do. have elite quarterbacks. They both do. of them have great skill position. This is going to be nip and tuck. I know you want it to be a blowout. This is going to be a close football uh, game. This and, is going to be a close football game. And you're right, Rick, because. In Orlando. Uh, in Orlando. It's just when you look at it, Rick, and I go back and say to myself, you know, you've got a guy on the other side of the ball that's a Heisman Trophy candidate. And they do, too, and, and uh, yeah. Travis Jordan. Yeah. He's very good. But it, it's just, He's very good. Rick, when I think about it and say to myself, that defense is what's going to have to make it happen. That defense, Rick. The secondary. Yeah. Two transfer that, cornerbacks. That, that, and you know what, Rick? These are not players that came from big schools or whatever. These are transfers, Rick. Well, Chestnut came from Syracuse. Well, I think they're decent yeah, sized schools. Yeah, Syracuse is Zy not. Alexander, Southeastern Louisiana. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, he might, but he's obviously a very you know, talented guy. We, we had guys back there, Rick, that were number one picks. I know that. Number one picks. Years and years and years and years and years. Number one picks. Times have changed. Times have changed. So you got to play smart, Early in Rick. the week. Brian Kelly did not release a depth chart. No. Obviously, by game time, you'll see a depth chart. Oh, you will. Believe me. Former Cowboy, we know Iowa native, Iowa native, Andre Sam. Yeah. Could very well be starting at safety. Yeah. Now, he's Henry. been playing college ball for 10 years. <laughs> yes, I mean. <laughs> but Manise, you know, hey, Marshall. Hey, take it. A I'll cup take of coffee at Tulane. I'll take, it, I'll take what they give me, but you It'd know what? It'd be though? great for, for the, oh, it for would the be. Iowa kid to. Oh, it to, would I be. mean, can you imagine? No doubt about that. If he wow. gets, I mean, he's going to play. Yeah. And he could well be starting safety. And when you look at it, Rick, LSU. 
you know what, when you look at those positions, you very seldom find a kid that's local or that's from this area. No. It's always a no. kid either from Florida, from Texas, or, or just out of the state that, that's at yep. that position. But I think Coach Kelly is going to have to put a game plan together to where it's going to have to surprise all of us. He stated he's smart enough to know and look on film. He doesn't want to send those running backs into the teeth of that defensive line. No. Because they might have two or three guys that can play in the NFL at yeah. Florida State. No. So he wants to get them in more space. More than that, Rick. More than that. Rick. Well, this Jared Verse guy is, is first-round yeah. material. He wants to get them out in space. And, and, and you know, and get you away at, from that, yeah. that, that, their strength. When you, when you look at them last year, Rick, and I know they're much more improved than what they were in last year in the Dome. Rick, you say to yourself, they were good Who's then. better? Florida State? Florida State, when All you right. played them in the Dome last right. year. And you say to yourself, LSU now, will be Rick, better, too. It's, it's, it's like... LSU has improved, too. But yes. the thing that I think is going to be the telltale story, Rick, and this is just me, I think whichever quarterback plays the best, that's who wins the game. Okay. Because that's I the think, trigger, Rick, on uh, both teams. Well, that's I'm the quarterback the guru guy. back here. Look, that's going to be the trigger I think guy it's cool teams. if you haven't heard. Kelly has assigned the number seven to Will Campbell. Yeah. Left tackle left will tackle. wear number seven as one of the now, star that's a, players. That's a big deal, Rick. And number 18 is going to go to Makai Wingo, yeah, yeah. the hard worker on the defensive line. That's, I think it's cool. I, I think, think it, it sends is, a Rick. great message I think it does that too. you win with the trench play. You win on offensive line and defensive Those line. Those two guys will be your leaders, I promise you. Will Campbell, yeah. number seven. Can you believe that? Wow. You want it to go to Malik Neighbors or somebody like a uh, tackle, a tackle, a left tackle. Seven. I think it's cool. I think it's cool. Also cool, wonderful, is the National Golf Course and Golf Club, and especially the Max Bar and Grill, where you can lavish yes. in the clubhouse with great steaks, burgers, and seafood. All the pasta it all awaits you on the second floor of the clubhouse. Plus, great pool boys, gourmet sandwiches and salads. Chill out at the bar and with a cold beer or frozen cocktail after 18 holes. Open seven days a week. Remember, Sunday brunch, it's all at the Max Bar and Grill. If it's a story worth telling, it starts with getaways specializing in me time. Handcrafted flavors eager to please. Escapes to soak the day away. And rounds on a course designed by Tom Fazio. Start a story all your own at La Berge Lake Charles. We're the attorneys Southwest Louisiana has known and trusted for decades. We fought relentlessly for our clients and won. We are proud to announce a new name based on our legacy of success. We are Lundy Law. The name may be new, but our team's commitment to pursuing justice for our clients has never been stronger. From personal injury and maritime cases to insurance claims, mass tort, and civil litigation, you can count on the experienced attorneys at Lundy Law. Frozen faces, burnt hot dogs, finding silver linings in every season. You never forget the way some things taste. Great taste, 96 calories. Tastes like Miller time. What's bugging you? Is it termites? The season is now and they are swarming. At J&J &J Exterminating, we offer some very effective weapons against infestation of your home or business. Let us take care of what's bugging you. Don't wait. Contact us now for a free inspection. Officially, it's a fridge full of beer. Unofficially, it's free AC. Coors Light, the official beer of everything unofficial. Bow hunters, get over to Bowie Outfitters. It's the annual archery sale with huge savings across the board. How about 40% off some select bows yes. and crossbows, by the way. You got the 10-point Havoc 440, 40% off. Wicked Ridge Blackhawk 360 down to 239.99. That's cheap. 20% off bow accessories, 10% off savings of broadheads, half off the Halo Optics Range Finders. Very important out in the field. Get geared up before the bow hunting season at Bowie Outfitters, the big archery sale going on now. You got a little bit of time yes. through Labor Day, which is obviously coming up this weekend, right September corner. 3rd. We're coming back yes. to you at Barstool Sportsbook at La Berge, where we remind you about Saturday and Sunday brunch at Drago's Seafood Restaurant right here at La Berge. It's a Saturday and Sunday from 9 until 2. Great brunch classics, and of course, you can get the Louisiana classics. So start your we, weekend right. We right? ate that last night, Rick, let me tell you. Oh, my God, man. 
Unbelievable. Unbelievable is the word, believe me. Big alert and news concerning the show. Yes. That would be us here at Sound Right Hall, here. Coming to Grim Barstow. You can now watch the show 24-7. Yes. 365 on YouTube. On YouTube. Oh, we, on the YouTube channel, very easy. You go to CBS Lake Charles. Yes. Dot TV. Go to the website. CBS click Lake on Charles the YouTube link. TV. Bam, you're on YouTube. It's on. And bam, you find Sound Off all week. 24-7. Yes. So if you missed the show on CBS Lake Charles, on the television, on our broadcast, you can check, check us out after the fact on yes. the website on YouTube. Yes. We've been waiting for that. It's fun yes, time. Yes, it's here now. Tell we your friends it. in California. Tell them you can watch us. Or in Croatia. You can watch us. Alaska if you or get, to the Caribbean. If you get YouTube, you've got us. That's right. There That's you go. That's it. All right. Uh, next segment. I'm going to hold you to it. LSU, Florida State it. prediction. I'm telling you, I already got I'm my about prediction. To, I'm already about to it. tell you who's going to win. I'll, Matt I'll and Darlington. All right, Magnese opens the season uh, Saturday night, 7 o'clock, in the hole against Tarlington State. Remember, it's been a couple of years. Remember, Cody Orgeron was yeah. the quarterback. They won in double overtime. Yeah. Tight game, cold game, because it was that spring game in it February. Was it was. Tarlington yeah. is a good, solid they are program. A good team, they are. And they're they going to give Magnese. Gary Goff has stated, he stated on this show. It's going to be looking like, what is that, old Michael Jackson tune, Man in the Mirror? Yeah, they are you know, both, they're both similar tempo, teams. Up-tempo, want to run, want to pass. Teams. And one of the things Coach Golf said that they were going to take advantage of is that time clock. You know, we hadn't talked much about that, but that's changed too, right? It's going to be so interesting. He said that he's going to be most particularly in watching that because they like to shift that defense. And he yeah. says if he can catch them off guard from shifting, that's their advantage. If they can't get guys on the field in time enough. The clock will continue to run it it after will. certain plays. Exactly. If the ball goes out of bounds, obviously yes. it stops. Yes. Uh, and, it to will stop. And, and to yep. your sideline. And to your sideline. It will stop within two minutes. Yes. So when you start watching college football, that clock is going to run. It is. What does that mean? Those play, the calls have to come in they quicker. They got to come in quicker. They got to be ready for it. You've got the clock is running, right? It's not just lollygagging yeah. around no, now. No, no, no. So no. supposedly it'll be more up tempo. Yeah. Uh, that tends to be more offensive plays, depending on how you play the clock. You're right, Rick. And, and you know what, Rick? So it's going to be interesting. The good thing about it, and this is what Coach Goff talked about, it's good to have somebody that knows your system the way you do yes. because you guys can be on the same page. Yes. And, Rick, you've got to always be one play ahead of what's on the field. Yes. Always. Because if you're not, Rick, you're behind. You're behind. I mean, you're if, behind. You, if you send a play in, Rick, you got to know what your next play is based on what you think you may get. Even though Gary Goff has been just dogged yeah. to not name the star or not announce. And I think publicly announce he's the got his reasons why, Rick, but he's got his reasons why. Well, I don't I mean, understand. He's got his <laughs> I, I mean, no, I know you don't. You, you, you want to know. I, you know, you, I think you he should know. come out and say it's Nate Glantz. But yeah. here, I, don't, I don't think he wants to tip his hat to Tarlington. Yeah. Whatever. Tarlington hadn't named their starting quarterback. But you know I get what? it. You know what they say about surprise attack? Yeah. In military tactics, surprise, surprise. And it's an advantage to them, too, because you know what? They haven't seen much of either quarterback. No. You know, Rick? No. So I would do it, Rick, if I was him, because you know what? To me, that's my advantage. When, when, when we walk on the field, when a taunt, coin toss is tossed, you're going to know then. Well, but other than that, you will not know. If, if Tarlington rolls out that 6'5 quarterback, you used to play for Mississippi State? Yeah. Or the smaller guy, yeah. they're both pocket quarterbacks. They are. All right. And you know what? <laughs> In the interview with Coach, he said, well, you know what, guys, the advantage that I look at, one of the guys that transferred from Mississippi State, I talked to one of the coaches there that had coached with me sometime back. He said the one thing that that guy had a problem with was seeing the whole field. Now, in that type of offense, yeah. you got to yeah. see the whole field, Rick. Well, you, you know, look, Goff's opinion, and he's a coach, critical place, critical plays, mistakes, yeah. turnovers, who plays best in critical situations yeah. will decide this game. I really think I think Nate Glance, if, if he and I think he's a starting we, quarterback. Probably I right, think he's going to be fine. I mean, I, I think, think those receivers. Right, I think those receivers are going to have to produce. They're going to have to get open. They're, They're going to have to read the keys right. Yeah, I think Glance will get in the football. I think and so I, too. And, and and you know, even though even though that secondary is bigger, they're all new back there. They are. And what's the they communication? Are. Who's got that guy? Wait a minute, you got a man in motion. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute, you got a guy that, cutting across the middle. And that's from talking, Rick. And you know what, Rick? When I was at LSU. Me, Lifford Hobley, Jeffrey Dale, Norman Jefferson, we kind of knew those calls because we were together a lot, man. But what you say is true, Rick. You got to know who you're playing with, man. To know if you don't hear it right, you got to know what they may do in yes. certain situations, Rick. Communication. But the one thing I think we're missing, Rick, in all of this when we're talking about Tarlington is that Magnus is at home. They're at home. Yeah. 
And I, I think that will play into it. I don't think the weather will be a factor. Look, Tarlington's probably, Tarlington's been practicing in 130 would be a factor degrees. degrees. No. Same thing McNeese. Yeah. But it's a home game. The, the question, you know, again, in this intense heat, LSU, when do they play? 7.30. Sunday night. Yeah, 7.30. No competition. 7.30. So, no. at Cowboy that Stadium, should be, it, the it fans, should be full. It should be will packed, they Rick. turn out to see it should be packed, a Rick. lot of buzz around yeah. this Cowboy team? And, Rick, you know what? Will and they I, turn out? And I'm, and I'm hoping, Rick, that this is not the case. But to me, Rick, as a former player, the first game can say a lot about what people expect of you. Yes. What people think of you. Yes. You know what I'm saying when I say that, Rick? Yes. If that place is packed, Rick, you know what fans are saying around town? Mac has got something this year. Well, plus and that's what, tell, that's what tells the players too, Rick, yeah. as players. Now, keep in mind, after this game, which I think – in my mind, it's a must win for McNeese to get off on the right foot, obviously. It is, Rick. No, uh, that's Then no they got doubt. three road games. Florida, yeah. Alcorn State, yeah. and Eastern Illinois. Three, and three straight Rick, road games. You're supposed to be, what, three and one after those three games. After, after those four games, yeah. you should be three and one. That's what I got him. And if you're at. three and one, Rick, you're looking pretty damn good. And okay, here, right come, now. here comes Rick's picks. I think, I think the Cowboys will win, but I think it's going to be a tight one. I think it's 34-30. I think it'll be tight, I think, too, I think McNeese will win. Really, Rick? 34 to 30. You think they'll score that many points? Uh, yes, I do. I'm, I'm yes, Rick, I do. Rick, no, I'm not, I'm not going that high, You're Rick. going lower than that? Yeah, I'm going 17-21. I'm going well, Ma- you think McNeese will win 21-17? I think they win 21-17. I, I I, I because it's you, a you know what, game. Rick? I, I think, Rick, they're, they're both got some things that they're trying to work out. Yeah, because, they do. You know, I don't think you're going to score that many points unless there are some big, big mistakes made. And I think on both sides of the ball, I think both teams are where they need to be to say, you know what? We want to keep everything in front of us. And McNeese has to know those two safeties. We cannot let anybody get behind us, man. Don't get behind them. High school football kicks off this week as well. You know what I think the two teams that are going to have a tough transition with new coaches? Jennings and LaGrange. I just Mm. transition. We'll see about that. Time, we'll take Tough a short time out. Coming back to Barstool Sports with more sound off. Stay right there. We're the attorneys Southwest Louisiana has known and trusted for decades. We fought relentlessly for our clients and won. We are proud to announce a new name based on our legacy of success. We are Lundy Law. The name may be new, but our team's commitment to pursuing justice for our clients has never been stronger. From personal injury and maritime cases to insurance claims, mass tort, and civil litigation, you can count on the experienced attorneys at Lundy Law. Offer a more reliable, responsible, intelligent and connected indoor environment that easily adjusts to homeowner preferences no matter where they are uncompromising unmistakable luxair learn how to become a luxair dealer by visiting solarsupplyluxair.com buoy outfitters in lake charles huge archery sale going on now you got a little bit of time folks it runs through labor day weekend september 3rd it's all over 40 percent off select bows and crossbows like the elite envision you can save $440, save 20% off some of their favorite bow hunting accessories. Hey, get this, some clearance items, ask them about this, uh, bow hunting clearance items, 75% off limited time. Hopefully there's still some stuff over there. Get over to Bowie Outfitters in Lake Charles. Big savings for the archery sale, and it's an annual archery sale. Bow hunting season's right around the corner. Welcome back to Barstool Sportsbook at La Mr. Yes. Gidry, Mr. Saro here, Scooter Hobbs off this week. Uh, Want to let you know, big alert, big news for the show. We're on 24-7, yes, we 365. Are. You can watch us on YouTube now. Anywhere. Anywhere. Anywhere in the world at anywhere. any time. You it's go to YouTube. cbslakecharles.tv, click on the YouTube connection and the link in the channel, and you can find Sound yes. Off uh, anytime, anywhere. Also there, when you're on that website, you can kick on, click on the boys from uh, Pope Nation. Yes, you That can. would be Jim Gazzola and Heath yes. Troyer, our sister sports show. Those yes, two, they two are. knuckleheads, you can catch them on. Uh, <laughs> they do a good tell job. tell them I said that, Bob. Yeah, it, it's okay. They've already heard it. I know. All right. <laughs> We're going to get into your LSU prediction. We're oh, not going to yeah. run out of time. Sure. We'll get into that. For You'll sure. get my prediction as well. I already told you McNeese will win over Tarlington yes. at home, but in a tough one, 34-30. Yes. to 30. You like the Cowboys winning 21-17. I do, I do, I do. You don't do. think that cannon's going to be going off all that much? Yeah, that's enough. Uh, that's all enough. right, we got another week until the Saints and the Titans meet up for real in the Superdome. The NFL season is next Thursday, by the yes. way. Kansas City Super Bowl champs, Detroit Bowl Lions, champs. the up-and-comers. Up-and-coming. The Detroit, Detroit Lions. Detroit Did you Lions, hear man. this? 
Dan Campbell, the head coach of the Lions, he went to the NFL and asked and inquired, he and their management, about having a lion. Oh, no. A live oh, no. lion oh, no. No. on the sideline. No. A little happening. raw, raw college football that ain't stuff. Happening. That's not happening. NFL said, no, no. we don't do live mascots. No, 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 I think it's a great idea. I think it is. Well, look at LSU. They used to do it, and they stopped it. Rick, NC2A stopped it. They used to bring Mike the Tiger on the field in his cage. You don't remember that? When I played. I do. How long ago was we that? Would, when, when I played. Years ago. When, I, when I played. Well, I wait mean, a minute now. They would hit the cage, man, to get him riled up. D doesn't they Texas don't do still that. run out the Longhorn? Bevo? Don't. Yeah, no. but Bevo. Doesn't Prime Time going to run out that Buffalo at Colorado? Yeah, but Bevo and the Buffalo. Mm, well, they don't have long teeth? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying. When you talk about vicious, I mean, come on now. Bevo not going to really NFL nobody, right? said we're not having lions. We're not having tigers. Yeah. But LSU, the Bengals, by the way, you're not having the Jaguar, no yeah. Panthers on the sideline, Knicks, no but way. But LSU had that when I played. They would bring Mike the Tiger out in his cage, yeah. I remember that. Oh, yeah, man, yeah. That. And right. they would make him roar, man. It got us fired New up, New Orleans, man. Tennessee, the roster's down to 53. A little change yes. this year. You know, you, you, it's not periodic cuts. It's like one deadline, one bam. Cut. You That's cut it. everybody down to 53. One good thing about the Saints is right now, everybody appears to be healthy. They do. Uh, I mean, what are you, what are you got thoughts? a few bumps and bruises. What are your thoughts on Thomas, honestly? I think, I think he's rejuvenated. He should be. Uh, I think he'll, he'll do what he does best. And what he does best is possession, red zone, end zone, across the middle, sideline rights. Do you think? I want to give the guy a break. I, I, I said they should have got rid of him a year ago. Do you think but, him and Carr has enough time to, yes, to build that relationship? Yes, I do. And speaking okay. of the quarterbacks, in short, don't get on a major rant, but what is your issue with Derek Carr as he gets ready to open up the season? He's been playing for nine years. Yeah. Yes, he has a sub-500 record. No, he hasn't won a playoff game. You put him in the top five. But his numbers five. are there. You, you put him in the top five or top ten as a quarterback? No, you put I him said in top, top 15. 15. Okay, top 15. he does not have a Super Bowl. He does no, he doesn't. Have, he does not have a conference championship. No, he, he doesn't. He does not. He started for what? The, he started about nine-year starter nine for the Raiders. Starters. The dysfunctional it's just, Raiders. It's, it's just to where when you be in a system like that for so long, Rick, what else did you expect to do, Rick, when you've been in a system that long? And that's what you've gotten. Now, if you have, if you would have had, what's his name there? Um, come on, help me out with the name. He, he's with Denver right now. Sean Payton. If you have Sean Payton there, I'm going to think different about what you say, Rick. There's no quarterback okay, coach that can Sean coach Sean Payton. Rick. Sean Payton is offensive Sean, coach. Sean I got Payton it. Sean Payton is the guy that can get in your head, I got man. it. But he's not there. He's not there. He's so not there. that's what makes me think that I don't know if Derek Carr is going to be there. Well, I'm going to prove you wrong there. Just me. I'm going to prove you. He is the least of their problems. Okay. He's the least of okay. their problems. I, I think their major concern for New Orleans is who's going to go opposite on the defensive end with Cam Jordan. Right, right, And right. is Trevor Penning. Remember him? Yeah. The first round yeah. pick? Remember yeah. he missed most of last he year? He did. Is he ready for prime time is at he, left tackle? Is he ready? Is he ready is at he, left tackle? Left tackle, Rick, that's, that's, that's prime time, Rick. Uh, I, I think he will be. I think he will be. All right? Okay. Uh, that, that's a question mark. Other than that, this Saints roster is solid. They look good, Rick. This Honestly, Saints and, roster I mean, you is solid. I mean, you get him back, what, he's staying out for, what, three games? Okay. And you got him back. All right, so, so, so you're, you're anti-Derek Carr. Oh, wow. I am you are. You that, are. Rick. I'm just saying he has Derek not proven Carr, himself to me yet. Derek Rick. Carr will be the starting quarterback at the start, and he'll be the starting quarterback at the end. Can you say that for Baker Mayfield with the Bucks? No, I can't. Okay. Can you say that no, for Desmond Ritter with the Atlanta Falcons? Uh, will he uh, be the starter at the end, of, or even uh, at midseason? Uh, Okay, uh, but look and what, can but you look say what, that about Bryce Young with look, the Carolina Panthers? But look what shoes Baker Mayfield has to fill. Tom Brady. Oh my God, Rick, this what? Is, this is he Baker may lose his mind. Rick. It's his fourth team. <laughs> he loses his mind. I got it. Look at the shoes this dude's got to fill in Tampa about, Bay. I'm talking about elite talent. I know though. what you're saying. In the, Derek Carr's the best quarterback in the, in the NFC South. Am I right or wrong? Am I right or wrong? He's played the longest. Okay, is he is he the best in the in the division? Oh my God. Bryce Young, I, I, I like the young man. He's played the longest. I like Rick. the young man. He's played the longest. I don't think Bryce Young at, 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 at 5'10", 205 pounds either. with his frame, I don't think he's, he's going to last the season. I don't. I don't Rick. think he's going to last the season. I don't. And just like when you, look at, when you look at Murray with Phoenix, I mean, they're the same type build type guy, but Murray has a lot more wheels than what? He's, he's thicker. Yeah, yeah. He's thicker. You mean same body build, same he's size thicker. and everything, but... I don't know if Bryce Young, man, what if somebody come off that end real hard, Rick? I, 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 I don't want the young man to get pounded. I'm just saying 
in, in relation to Derek Carr, comes Derek off Carr will be the starter hard. at the beginning and starter at the end if he stays healthy. If he stays He's healthy, the best right? quarterback in the South. All right, we're almost out of time. Yeah. LSU, Florida State. I'm going to tell you right now, it'll be tight. I think LSU will win it 41 to 36. I think they're going to be points. 35-27, LSU. Okay, you, you think, uh, so you're with me in yeah, a tight game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think they're going to score that many. 40? No, I don't. not that many. Not that many. No. Some two elite quarterbacks. They here. are, Rick. Right. They are. They're going to be good. Rick, Rick Always, Sarah. guys. We love you. Thanks Always. Thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Don't forget about Pope Nation with Gazola and Schroyer right here on CBS Lake Charles. We'll see you next time, everybody. Frozen faces, burnt hot dogs, finding silver linings in every season. You never forget the way some things taste. Great taste, 96 calories. Tastes like Miller time. What's bugging you? Is it ants? They're crazy, tiny, irritating pests outside trying to get in. At J&J, we offer weapons to locate, eliminate, and prevent their entering your home or business. Let us take care of what's bugging you. Contact us today for a free inspection. If it's a story worth telling, it starts with getaways specializing in me time. Handcrafted flavors eager to please. Escapes to soak the day away. And rounds on a course designed by Tom Fazio. Start a story all your own. At La Berge Lake Charles. Now's the perfect time to enjoy your amazing backyard. Unless you have a mosquito problem, contact the experts at J&J &J Exterminating and take advantage of $50 off initial service. Make this summer the best ever with J&J &J Exterminating. J&J Exterminating. Yeah. Officially, it's a fridge full of beer. Unofficially, it's free AC. Coors Light. The official beer of everything unofficial. This is Sound Off, Louisiana.